So we've got ourselves a good old fashioned EL84 torture chamber here. This is a Vox AC15 C2. So two Celestian Greenbacks in here, not just one. So you get even more output from them. These are an excellent amp. They sound good, they're built quite well, really, really quite robust and reliable. However, as with pretty much most amps out there these days that use EL30, uh, EL84s, I should say, they absolutely torture them. They run them well and truly beyond what they should be run at. The original ones back in the 60s were using, you know, old mullard tubes and similar type things that could take the abuse. Modern production tubes can't quite keep up. I don't know why they insist on designing amps that are running them at plate dissipations at like 120% of what they're designed for and plate voltages, sometimes, you know, an extra 40% over what they're rated for. It's absolutely insane. The customers brought this one in and said, makes a whooshing noise when used. So that usually would lead me to, in, to believe that it's probably something to do with the tubes themselves. Like I said, they get absolutely tortured and hammered, but let's power it on, let's test it, and let's see whether that is indeed the case. Just gonna make sure the volumes are turned down. Reverb can go down, trim can go down, master volume down as well. Let's get some power happening. There we go. All right, power on. I want to keep an eye out for arcing as well. So I did power it up previously on the Variac to make sure there's no shorts. Nothing came up. So we're good on that side. <laughs> Grab a little pointy stick. So straight away, when I turn that on, I could hear a ring. Ooh, and listen. If we take a bit of a listen now. There appears to be some kind of oscillation going on there, like a bit of a howling. So it's definitely got the hallmarks of something going wrong with the output tubes. If I just tap along here on the control panel, that is a lot, like a lot of microphonics. Even just the jacks here are actually a little bit loose. So plugging and unplugging that is gonna make it worse. Oh, yeah, that one right there. That is an unhappy chappy. Let's power it off. Even just turning off the power switch, you can hear it ring through those tubes. So we've got some new tubes in there, they're now operating, and we've got some nice sort of silence going on, which is always a good thing. Now what happens if we give them a bit of an old tap-a-tap -tap and see whether we've got the same level of microphonics as what we did before. Nothing. Silent. That's actually really quite good. Normally you'd expect a little bit of ring there, but we ain't got none, which is excellent. Okay, so now we've got Scratchiness on the normal volume. Rotating the volume control for the top boost. Oh, bringing weird noise in. Hmm. The master volume. Yeah, it brings up a bit of extra noise as it goes up. Pot's cleaned, rotated, let's see what happens now. Get some volume up there. Good, good, that's much better. I got both of these volumes up at 12 o'clock. Let's crank the master up. Nice. You got your standard levels of background hiss and all that kind of jazz that you're gonna get with any amp that's being cranked like this. But if I were to plug in a guitar and strike a chord, I'd blow my eardrums out almost immediately. Nothing going on there, which is good. Now with them cranked up, let's check for the microphonics of the tubes. Nice. I reckon that may have done it, which is, it's always a good thing. Sometimes the simplest answer is the one that actually is the case. So 
you know, I'll give this a proper clean. So I'll clean the top panel, I'll clean the inside, get rid of all the dust and all that kind of jazz. I'll give the rest of the pots a good clean out as well with contact cleaner. Make sure that they're all good. Tighten down the hardware, give it a bit of a strum, give it a bit of a test, and then leave it connected up to the dummy load and the signal generator for about an hour or two, just to make sure that there's nothing that's gonna go too awry with it. So, unless there's anything else that goes wrong with this, I think this one might just be a relative quick one. Customer's gonna be happy, not gonna be in a world of hurt when it comes to the bill, thankfully. And yeah, so I'm gonna go do all that kind of jazz. And in the meantime, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, you know, visit us on Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of jazz. And until the next time, I'll see you then.